All right, I'm doing this in my bedroom, Polly. So there's three basic types of shapes when you're looking at volume. There's spheres, just like regular shapes, and pyramids and cones. Cones are just circle pyramids, honestly, with like a special name. So when you're looking at volumes, there's three basic shapes. There's a sphere and a like a ball, which is basically just like a circle and it kind of rotates and like flips around like when you're flipping a coin. There's regular ones, which are the ones you usually deal with. And these are just, you take like a shape, like a square, and you just kind of stack like a bunch of squares, like, like you have a piece of paper like here and you stack a bunch of them on top of each other. Like here I have a rectangle piece of paper and I just stacked a bunch of them on top of each other. And now it's just, if I put more paper, it'd be even taller, but it's just, you know, a regular like 3D shape. And those are just any shape that you just kind of stack on top of each other. So if you had like a piece of paper that's a triangle and you stack like a million of them on top of each other and made it like super, super thick, like a tent, that would be just like a normal one. And so what you care about is what's the shape that's being stacked. Even if it's, it's they call it the bottom, but you can honestly rotate it anyway. Like here, the quote unquote bottom would be the triangle, even though like, there's not triangle at the bottom. The bottom basically is just whatever shape you're stacking on top of itself. So here, the bottom, sorry, the picture is really bad, would be a square that's like stacked on top of itself all the way up until something. Here, the bottom's a square and is stacking this way, or you could say the bottom's that rectangle and stack it up shorter. It doesn't really matter, but as long as it's whatever shape that gets stacked, that would be your bottom. And the last type of shape that you're gonna look at are pyramids or cones. And cones are just circle pyramids, basically. And so instead of taking that shape and stacking it up on top of each other like you normally would, you basically go you stack them tinier and tinier and tinier until it becomes a point at the top. So like here, like a pyramid like they have in Egypt, you just stack smaller and smaller pyramids on top of each other. It's a really bad picture until you get just like a point at the top. And those are pyramids or cones. And those are like the three things you need to remember basically for shapes. There's the spheres, and then the regular ones, and the pyramids. Oh my god, Polly, I'm so sorry. I forgot the regular ones. They're called- Okay, sorry, I'm trying to make this video, like, in bed on my phone. Anyway, the regular ones are called prisms. Which I cannot spell. But whatever shape is being stacked, like whatever the base is, Oh my gosh, that is the prism. So this is like a rectangular prism because you're stacking rectangles. This is a triangular prism because you're stacking triangles. This one's a square prism <laughs> or just like a die. You just call them cubes. They have like a, like a regular name. Like these are called balls, but they're called spheres in math land. These are called square prisms. This is a triangular prism. And it's the same way here with pyramids. You can have whatever shape you want at the bottom. Like, this is a circular pyramid, but normal people call them cones, like ice cream cones. This is a square pyramid. You can do a triangle pyramid, which I cannot draw. You could do like an eight-sided one, uh, kind of like a, What's it called? Like a stop sign shape? I guess, I guess it'd be like a gem or something. I don't know. But you can do like basically any shape you want. It'd be an octagonal pyramid. You just say like the name of the shape, pyramid. 
name of the shape, pyramid. And if it's just stacked regularly, name of the shape, prism, name of the shape, prism, and then got a sphere and a ball. So you only basically have to memorize one formula when you're looking at prisms and pyramids. Let me go to the next page. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Polly. Okay, so, and that is base times height. So kind of like just like a flat shape. But so if you have like a square prism, here your base would be, oh my gosh, it would be here. So you would say like, what's the area of the base? And so this is a, let's say this is a, B, C. So since it's the bottom of the base, it's just like a really ugly rectangle because I can't draw. The area of a rectangle is just A times B and then times the height. And so you're stacking it a bunch of times. So it's times the height. And if it's a perfect cube, A, B, and C are all the same thing. And like there's a shortcut, but like nobody cares because it's just the base times the height. Same with like a cylinder, cylindrical prism. The base is a circle. Let's see, this is the H. So you just do the area of the circle times the height. And the area of the circle is pi r squared times sorry, times the height. Uh, if you do a triangular prism, I'm trying to draw while looking at the phone. Anyway, the base, because the shape that you're stacking is the base, is a triangle. So you do the area of a triangle, the base, times the height. So whatever the base shape is, times the height. That's always what the volume of a prism is. Now, here's the fun part, is a secret shortcut for, oh my gosh, ugly. <laughs> pyramids and cones so I'm going to draw a really ugly cone and I'm gonna be trying my best Polly I'm so sorry so this is my cone and let's say that you have a cone and you can kind of smoosh it around if you smoosh three cones together or three pyramids together you get that same shape so <laughs> this is a really bad picture but so let's say you have a circular pyramid if you have three circular pyramids and you just smoosh them all together you have a regular cone If you have like a rectangular prism, and you kind of smoosh three of them together, really ugly, you have a rectangular prism. So since the uh, pyramids are just like a little part of the prism, you can just say that, oh, the volume, I hope I've been saying volume this whole time, not area, is one third times whatever the volume of the regular shape is. So base times height. I really hope I've been saying volume this whole time and not area. So, you could just like, anytime they give you a pyramid, it's like, I'm gonna make a 
really weird looking pyramid. Just find, pretend, first step, we just pretend that it's like a regular prism because you know in my ugular prism land that a pyramid is just a regular prism chopped up. So the volume would just be one third of the volume. So the volume would be the area of the base times the height divided by three. So yeah, so prisms are base times height. And that's the same as like regular shapes, honestly. It's like if you have like a square base times height, except for a square is just like a really, really, really tiny prism. So like it would just be one. So it's just, there's nothing to multiply by. So it's just the little flat part, the base times the height, but it's like infinitely thin. So hopefully that made sense and it helps.